An event like the G20 can't avoid some disruption, so this afternoon hundreds of locals came to find out what the World Leaders Forum will mean for them. Do I have to do something to get special permission so we can get our car out? If it is going to be a fence, when will that go up? Rail services through South Brisbane will be affected as a ring of steel surrounds the main venue. Organisers say no one living near the convention centre will be kicked out, but... To access restricted area, you must have accreditation that will be issued by Prime Minister and Cabinet. It's the most complex security operation ever staged in Australia, with 5,000 police. But the people of Brisbane are welcome. Brisbane is open for business. Um, I guess the only thing I would say is if people are thinking of coming into town, perhaps to see the motorcade, and they use public transport. Authorities are already engaging with up to 70 protest groups. Each protest group would be allocated a liaison officers that will actually deal with them leading up to the event. But shadowy, violent anarchists don't tend to engage with police. Once identified, they could be on the so-called prohibited persons list and banned from the city. Really, it is about people known around the world that will disrupt the events around G20. No one has currently made the list which hopes to prevent scenes like these in Toronto three years ago. We have been very, very mindful of um, the lessons learned from Toronto. 11 months to go.